your girl Noxie and I'm back again with another video. Thank you so much if you're a returning subscriber. And if you're new here, be sure to join the family, hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications so you don't miss any of my videos. So you guys, today I want to talk about something very serious that's just going down on the internet currently. As we speak, the Fresh and Fit podcast, you guys been seeing, I've been doing some of their videos, is going through some problems because they did something stupid. Okay, so if you guys don't know much about what they did, you know, I'm just gonna give you a little bit of a background story on that too. They had a little YouTube beef. I don't know if it's little or big, but it, it was definitely smaller than they have it now because obviously they did some things that put fuel to the fire instead of putting it out. So I'm just gonna get into it. Myron insulted, um, you see the YouTubers that I'm talking about, they had beef, the Abba and Preach YouTubers. Myron went ahead and insulted one of the guy's wives. The girl did nothing, you, you don't know her, you don't know anything about her. You're having a beef with the guy on YouTube and you said for his wife, he's like, oh my God, I bet your wife is ugly. I'm just gonna play you guys the clip just now. You talk shit about my wife? This nigga Preach is married, prior to a fucking beluga well somewhere. And y'all niggas talking shit. And you talk shit about my country. Old bitch said that he was about to send me on a boat to my country, to Haiti. Yeah? Cool. What's that got to do with your podcast? Why did you even say something so mean to a woman? Like, I don't even get it. Oh, I bet your wife is ugly. Bro, you ain't even got a wife. Go get yourself a wife. Before you can even start cussing out niggas with wives, you go get a wife first. Because all that you're doing here is acting a fool. And... Thank you to everybody who's checking these guys and telling them exactly where to go because you know what the truth has to be told you know everybody's here supporting you everybody's supporting you and you have the audacity to tell another youtuber that you're better than them and yet what makes you better is the audience supporting you like the same audience that you got from them because that audience might might also have come from their youtube channel because they've been guests on your show before so you're even insulting them in front of their audience that they brought you when they came for your show that is so dumb like and they decided to pull up their youtube statistics and cast them out and tell them that they're better than them because they get more views than them on YouTube. You're like, we're better than you niggas, we make more money than you niggas, we got a better fucking channel than y'all niggas, we get more views than y'all niggas. The only thing you guys got on us is, is you guys been on longer. But I guarantee to you, next year, this time, we're gonna lap you motherfuckers. Cause you know what? Back. Nobody works harder than us. Nope. Right? And then I thought to myself, why would they bring this up now? Uh, Chris, can you show exhibit A real fast? Boom. So let's see here. Uh, they got, let's see. These guys have almost a million more subs than us guys. All right? So we're the blue line. We're the blue line, they're the red. They have 1.38, which is 1,380,000 1, subscribers. Guys, we only have 430,000 subscribers, yep. okay? We have literally like one th less than one-third of their joint, right? And we got 20 million views, and they got 14.9 million views. Ouch. Myro literally pulled up those guys' statistics, not that to say they're private stats or anything, because literally anyone can see those statistics on YouTube, but the fact that he tried to compare himself to somebody and said, because I'm getting more views than you, I'm better than you, like, let me tell you why. Because these are the good people in this YouTube game, such as O'Shea Duke Jackson. You know, I was a, a small YouTuber at that time, not that I'm big now, but obviously my channel is growing slow but sure. I had 92 subscribers at the time, or less guys, and O'Shea Duke Jackson was willing to collaborate with me. He invited me on his channel to discuss like a relevant topic. You guys, I'll just plug you the link in the description. But my point is, I was very small in the YouTube game that time. I just had a few videos on the channel and he didn't even mind just having that discussion with me because he respects me as a person, not because of how many YouTube views I have or how many subscribers I have. And I still have so much love and respect for him even till this day because it didn't undermine me for who I was or for how many subscribers I had. I feel like Myron just trying to trash somebody on the internet because of how many views he has compared to their channel is so low. Your only competition is yourself. And on top of that, just when we thought, oh, okay, maybe we've seen enough some Instagram posts that flying out where women are saying Myron was pressuring them into having sex just so they can come on the podcast. Oh my God. Oh my God, I'm dead. <laughs> like, bro, that is something you do not do. You know how upset I am about this? Maybe I don't look upset right now, but I compared that situation to the Harvey Weinstein uh, situation where he wanted to sleep with models, actresses before giving them a, a role and all of that is so low, bro. Like any of that sexual misconduct loses my vote. In this case, bro, it's no longer about the debate on whether you were wrong or right for insulting 
Abba and preach for everything that you did. It's basically for me the biggest deal in all of this is that sexual misconduct. So first of all, you messaged the girl. She didn't just DM you saying, oh, my, may I please come to your show? You looked for that girl, okay? Let me read the messages. Yo, we should do a collab. And the girl goes, hey, sure, what you got in mind? And Myron goes, um, interested in a YouTube collab in Miami? Question mark. And then the girl is like, sure, I'm not sure when I'm gonna be in Miami, but I can definitely let you know next time I'm out there. And then Myron goes to the girl, when is the soonest you can be here? And then the girl is like, Friday, LOL. And then Myron goes, oh damn, I'll be in Vegas this Friday, but next week, question mark. Also, we do a night show where we discuss dating and relationships. Are you single or married? And then the girl curves the question. I think she curved it, okay? She goes, um, do you want me to make it happen uh, or should I just plan it for next week? And then Myron goes, um, it would have to be next week if we did it. Then the girl replies, would early next week work, like Monday or Tuesday? Then Myron goes, um, that would be tough. You didn't answer the relationship question though. Bro, you've just been ignored. Let it go, man. Let it go. Let it go. You are the one that's simping. You're teaching guys not to be sims, but you're the one that's simping, bro. Let it go. Anyway, um, <clears throat> the girl goes, um, I'm so sorry. That message actually didn't load until just now for some reason. I'm single. I'm actually not dating anyone right now. I dated somebody a couple months ago last year, and before that I was single for about two years, but I love that topic. And then Myron goes, all right, cool. I'm upfront that I'm not gonna do anything platonic with you, um, just being honest. And then the girl goes, I'm confused. I'm not trying to do anything with you except collab. And then Myron goes, uh, I collab directly with girls I date. No pressure though. And then the girl is like, so if we aren't dating, you don't wanna collab. And Myron goes, no. Don't mean to be an but we have plenty of women in Miami. Hey, are you guys hearing this? Like, I'm literally reading out the messages. I'm, I'm gonna put up the screenshots here so you guys can see. you're showing here is that you just about came up in the game and now you're trying to use that to leverage relationships which is not how it should work like of course women like money but this is not like you're forcing her you're not using your money to say okay um i'm gonna take you on vacation and we're gonna hang out and then maybe i'm gonna try something with you you're literally saying i'm a high value man so i deserve to get this pum pum imagine if your sister went through that and told her you can't get this role unless you sleep with me wouldn't you go up to the guy fuming so even if you were a high value man myron now <laughs> unfortunately we can't consider you one no matter how much money you make your standards are so low so low like any guy who's watching this don't be like this guy never ever beg a woman or try to force her into doing something she doesn't want to do if she says no just go okay you know what it's fine on to the next one man like there will be another girl who likes you but looks like myron claims to be getting all these girls but he's not getting because like this behavior tells me that this nigga stuffed what's the desperation about like how are you gonna come back from this oh and did i even mention that they're losing subscribers like crazy like they were on 426k um subscribers and now they are 395k subscribers and still going down and yet you had the audacity to pull up someone's YouTube statistics and tell them that you're better than them because of your views, because of your channels, this and that. Bro, come on, man. Come on. Now you're losing subscribers. Does that mean you're less of a person than you were when you were getting subscribers? I don't know. Like, you based your self-worth on the YouTube game, which is lame because YouTube is just another internet thing, just like any other social media platform where people get to discuss and talk about things. So you put your worth down to YouTube. For them to come back from this, they'd have to do something extraordinary. Their apology isn't enough for me because I don't feel like they meant it if i'm honest i just feel like they apologized because the public was putting them on blast and they didn't actually mean it so i'm really like you guys just did something unspeakable that what you did to that girl saying she can't come on the podcast because she did she doesn't want to sleep with you 
for me that just finishes my love for the fresh and fit like how could you say something like that she's also like high value men don't talk the way you just did i have 75 people on my story who voted the last hour and can't believe you said that the comments are insane myron is like i'm just being honest and stand by it i'm not collaborating with you unless we f i don't want to cast you know because of myron like he's super rude and then he also said you have effed a bunch of dudes and i know aren't special um you could have just said no and kept it moving but you are clearly in your feelings going through all that effort with a poll etc go ahead screenshot the comments screenshot the conversation for cloud chasing um i don't care what 75 people on your story say the difference is i say what i want and don't care what you think they do <laughs> okay before I, I go any further into this i just want to say myron had a chance to redeem himself this girl has just told you i'm gonna put you on blast and you're like i don't care what people say or oh, now you care because people have actually cared what she said like what were you thinking bro that was the time to apologize and go you know what oh girl i'm sorry if you don't like me that's cool you don't have to do anything you don't want to do my bad what was i thinking but instead you said you don't care put me on blast and now you care because your pockets are hurting like you're losing subscribers people don't want to sign up for your program anymore people don't like what you have to say anymore people are disliking your videos like crazy because you're just acting like a fool this is not the only woman who's victim of myron's stupidity as you guys have seen some women on the show get kicked out for nothing or something or petty things and i, I was just always like why is he kicking out these girls like one time he kicked out a girl and he's like you can't put on your shoes in my studio put on your shoes outside i'm like yeah girls fly to your studio to have these podcasts with you only for you to treat them like shit in the end so i don't know why you did that i don't know what you thought you had to gain from it but i'm sure this experience is going to teach you how to be humble and god bless you and your podcast but me i don't want to hear anything else you have to say after you try to sexually misconduct yourself in front of the whole world that's a disgrace if you feel like you've got something to add on let me know in the comment section if what do you think about this behavior what do you think about the whole situation overall let me know in the comments guys hit me up let's talk about it and i'll see you in my next video thank you so much for watching